So what we're going to learn today is how to create some text that looks like it has electricity wrapped around it just like you're seeing here. So first thing we want to do is create a new image and yeah, we're just going to create mine 800 by 600 for this example. Then what we want to do is make sure our colors are reset, select our paint bucket tool and fill the background with black. And now what we want to do is using our horizontal text tool we're just gonna select a dark color I'm gonna say it's the dark purple and type in some text here and just gonna give that a tick and then use our move tool to center it now probably gonna make that a bit bigger uh, you don't have to of course but the font I used is uh, Arial and font size 150. So let's give that a tick, move that down a bit. Now, the next thing we want to do is create a new layer. Then we want to click on the selection of the text. So hold control and click on the text so it makes a selection, and then go into select, modify, expand. And I'm going to expand it by, say, 5 pixels. Okay, depending on how big your text is will depend on how much you expand it by. I could probably expand it another two pixels. So but it's much of a muchness. You can play around with it a bit if you like. Um the next thing we want to do is select our channels tab here and then create a new channel. And then we want to fill this channel with the white so we're just going to use a paint bucket tool fill that with the white there and then what we want to do next is create a, another new channel and this time we want to go into filter texture and stained glass now this is going to give us that stain the lightning edges around the text just like so so you can sort of make them bigger depending on how much lightning you feel that you want going around the text so I'm just going to select 12 and you can adjust the border thickness here so I'm going to select 3 and always have the light intensity as 0 then click OK now what we want to do is whilst holding control click the alpha 2 channel that we just created and then we want to click the layers tab here and just have our layer 1 selected and then we want to fill this with any color uh, we can fill it with purple again because it doesn't really matter um, because we're just going to change it later on next thing we want to do is just go into select and deselect and then we want to right click and select blending options then select outer glow and the blend mode is screen I'm going to change the color to a dark blue and then the opacity you can sort of play around with if you want it to be a bit lighter or a bit darker so I'm just going to put it at about 70% then what we want to do is adjust the spread here to what you think is good for your picture so I'm just going to select about say 9 or 10 I'll select 9 and then the size you can adjust that as well um, but I'm going to probably select about 8 now just leave the quality and the range and jitter as normal and then click outer glow and then we want to change this color to like a aquary type blue so I'm just going to select that then we want to change the choke to maximum the opacity you want to set to 100 and then we want to change 
the size to zero and the contour just try selecting probably half round but you can sort of change it and play around with it a bit if you want but we'll just use these settings for the moment then just going to hit OK and then go into filter distort and then ripple and then just hit OK and then go filter ripple again now you can add it a third time if you like but I think it's a little too much so I'm just going to only add it twice and then go into filter blur Gaussian blur and then anything from 0 to 1 is usually pretty good so I'm just going to probably pick 0 0.5 and then hit OK and so that's given us that effect there now if you're not happy with the color of the checks you originally chose well you can just reselect the text layer and change the color to something a bit different but yeah, it's up to you. So, hope this has been a help to you, and thanks for watching.